Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Turning Point Global Family, daily devotional prayer and prophetic encounter. This mountain of prophetic interventions. Wake up to this altar daily. First thing before you do any other thing, let it be God first in your life and family on a daily basis. If it is a loved ones that is daily sending this to you, it is time to register personally directly on our Telegram platform. That way, it will get to you regularly, timely, at 12 midnight, whichever country you reside. We send it according to the timeline in all countries. And it is easy. Send a chat message or please register me on Telegram for Turning Point. Send that to plus 234-809-777-557. Registration procedure will be sent. Follow the procedure, then your Turning Point shall reach you daily. At 12, do so now. After receiving the audio, turn to the prayer booklet, also authored by me. Read the short Bible study for the day, pray the day's prayer, and combine the two, turning point audio and turning point booklet. If you are consistently doing this spiritual exercise, in no time, you shall completely be transformed spiritually, mentally, and in all areas of life. For subscription and subscription renewal, for prayer booklet, Chat with Demi on plus two three four eight zero double five one double zero five one zero. Do so now if you are just joining us or if you have not done so before. Members and listeners that have done this, I bless you, I love you, and appreciate your act of obedience and faith. Welcome also to Monday, the fifth day in August 2024. First working day in the week and first full week in the month as usual. Open your hand and heart to receive what God has sent. Be responding with Amen. I receive it. This day, this week, and this month, God will surround you with His holy angels. Every step you take shall be guarded by God Almighty. August is an acronym. A for Almighty, U for Unbeatable, G for Great, U for Untouchable, S for Satan, and T for Terror. Open your hand. This New month, I announce the Almighty God will make you unbeatable, you will be great, untouchable for Satan, and a terror to the kingdom of darkness. Say amen, I receive it. Wrong people shall have no inroad into your life, territory, and destiny anymore. The long night is over in your life. You have seen the first two quarters of this year. We are in the third quarters. Then the fourth quarters will come. These last two quarters shall be in your favor. All you listed in the beginning of the year and other things you added later shall answer in your favor. Nothing you listed will fail. The good doors God has opened for you shall remain widely opened and sustained. You shall not hear bad news anymore. Only good news. Demonic activities shall not operate in your life and your space anymore. Every negative dream or nightmare you may have shall never come to pass. Your fears will not happen. Anytime you have bad dreams, listeners, don't panic and don't be afraid. Google, search for three, four, or five Bible verses against bad dream. Use them to pray. Cancel the bad dream. Then five other verses that promise you victory, long life, blossoming, and flourishing. Claim them. And declare them over your life. Anoint yourself and move on. Forget the bad dreams. That is not your portion and will never be. Say amen. Which kind of amen is this? Say a better amen. Alright? Let's do this. What are your phone numbers? Do you have your phone numbers? Do you know it? Call them out quietly. Say your phone number or numbers out where you are. I want to make some declarations over it. Yes, say your own phone number. Let your ears be hearing it quietly. I prophesy these numbers you are calling shall start receiving miracle calls, miracle SMS, and chat. You shall start receiving calls from great and important people from important places for connection, for favor, and for assistance. There shall be a lot upon a lot sent to this number this week and this month. You shall receive the kind of money, gift, Kindness and support 
you have never received before. From far and near, from local, global, and international, you shall receive news that will warm your heart. Sickness and disease, untimely death, shall not be an option. Who is this? It's like good doors of help, jobs, contact, assistance, says relationship and connections are shut against you. I command such doors to start opening for you once again. You will soon read your testimonies here and everywhere. Say amen, amen, and amen. August 5 celebrant, receive your body prayers. You are blessed. Your new age is blessed also. You will mark August 5 yearly in good health, prosperity, and power. You shall live long and live well. Say amen. I receive it. Happy birthday. Now, if you can sow a thanksgiving and support for the kingdom seed on your bad days or your bad month, according to your age, do so. And this is for everyone hearing me. Everyone that believes in it, have faith in it, sow such seed and make such sacrifice on important days of your life, like your bad day. It will turn things around for you. However, no one is compelled or forced to do anything or cajoled to do anything on this platform. No, you only do as you are convinced. God will bless your sacrifice. Listeners, welcome to a two-week journey into insightful teachings, counsels, and wisdom sharing. Listen attentively and apply these eternal truths to your life. You will be completely transformed. Send your questions and situations to plus two three four eight zero nine seven eight nine four thousand. If you have any, do so today. First issue for teaching today. Good day, Daddy and my TPJF members. Please treat as urgent. The pastor of the church we attend can say anything on the pulpit. Many provocative utterances and statements from the altar to board members and even elders. And this had made many elders to stop coming to church. I now notice the envious attitude of some members close to him towards me and my husband. Should my family leave this church? Because we noticed that there is no love and words of encouragement from the pulpit, from the pastor, so that we will not lose our focus. Wow. Church should be the house of prayers, of learning, serving God, and of love, of inspiration, and encouragement. What you describe here is unfortunate. This is opposite of what a church atmosphere should be. This atmosphere is toxic and negative. When it becomes like this, then it is time to move to where you will be happy to learn, to grow spiritually, and also serve God joyfully. No one should be in the church where you are afraid when going to church, apprehensive and confused, or where the, you criticize the pastor and the leadership in your heart. You can't be blessed under such a pastor or leadership and atmospheres. If he's a pastor or leadership you can talk to and bear your mind, do so. But if not, please live quietly. Prayerfully locate another church. After all, there is no name of any particular church that can save somebody's life. And there is no name of any church written in heaven. Listeners, attend church where you are blessed where you are loved, and where you also make contribution, and where you grow spiritually. My take is, leave that kind of church, but don't hate church, or stay at home and say, I won't go to church anymore. All pastors and churches will not be like the ones you just described here. This is also a lesson to pastors and church leaders to guide against acrimonious church atmosphere. Let's take one more. Good morning, sir. Um emotionally disturbed. My husband of just 12 years in marriage kept telling me that he does not have sexual desire for me anymore. What's your advice for me on a situation like this? Wow, how did he come to this in a young marriage of only 12 years? Well, there is no smoke without fire. My cancer, first, warfare prayers. This looked to me a spiritual matter. Then bring a mentor, someone he respects, Someone he looks up to and someone he believes in to intervene for the two of you. If no change or if not such a person exists in his life, then bring both families into it. After all, 
his family came to your family to ask for your hand in marriage 12 years ago. Let him say what happened and then make whatever necessary adjustments you need to make after listening to him. Do all you can to save your marriage. Take both spiritual and practical steps. If there are strange women in his life or he's under any spell, he shall be broken. Listeners, give your advice for her on this matter. And if you have anything different from what I have just cancelled, send it as a chat to our line, plus 234-809-789-4000. Do so now. We will take more, take this off from here tomorrow. Let's have your own questions and situations, if you have any. Now, forward this ministrations to your contact. Do so daily. Let them also be blessed by what is blessing you. Join us later this evening on our live broadcast on our social media platform at the Real Family Emmanuel, 8 to 9 p.m. Nigeria time. Please don't forget, send your voice note testimony as I have announced here regularly to our numbers for that. The number to send your voice note testimony is plus two three four eight zero triple five eight three triple seven. Let it be loud and clear just for one minute. Month has ended. So if you are a monthly title, personal and business profit tight, please put your business outfit on tight as I have regularly taught us here. Then back to Thanksgiving, partnership commitment, and the seed of 888 that we are sowing this month, this month of new beginning, this month of eight, and connection to seed, to grace, 669. I'm sure you are hearing other people's testimonies on tithing and seed sowing to enlarge God's kingdom. If you do what they do, you will get what they are getting. I speak to everyone's life. This month has opened for you. Oh, the angel of the eighth month will go all out and ensure that your life and your ways are protected and your needs are met. You will not fall in battle. The power of God will be strong over you and everything that has your name on it will receive the mighty intervention of God. What God cannot do does not exist. For God can do all things. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. TPGF, answer, truly blessed. Bye.